Hello guys, my name is Shubhrayoti Ghosh and uh, this year in GATE 2022 Biotechnology, I have secured an All India rank of 13. So the purpose of making this video today is that I want to share my experience and give you some preparation tips to all the future GATE aspirants in Biotechnology. So one thing you need to uh, remember that, so one thing you have to remember that you don't have to study very much to crack gate but you have to study smart and that is what i will discuss with you today so for preparing good we need to look at the syllabus first so uh, the first section that you have in gate biotechnology is of the engineering mathematics section now uh, i guess those of, uh, of you who study engineering they know of good engineering mathematics books those books are enough for gate biotechnology don't need to follow other books but still i will suggest some books like wiley gate previous year engineering mathematics question one book is there or the semester books that you have for your college like bs grewal or hk das that's those books are enough for gate biotechnology so you don't need any separate books but if you still want to follow you can go for Wiley Gate Biotechnology MCQs on Engineering Mathematics that is a good book or you have Pearson uh, Gate Engineering Mathematics book as well so these two are basically MCQ books on Engineering Mathematics other than that you can follow your own college semester books on Engineering Mathematics as well that will do we come to the next section mostly where our field starts is General Biotechnology now here you have biochemistry, microbiology and immunology but the most important sections from which maximum question comes are from immunology and biochemistry so these two are the most important sections from where you will get maximum questions but that does not mean that you won't be getting any question from microbiology or other sections the, but the general trend is that you get more questions from biochemistry and immunology so if you get more questions from a section that means you have to prepare well those sections so prepare biochemistry and immunology well and also microbiology okay but most of the questions if you analyze the papers of previous years you get from biochemistry and immunology okay so in that way these two sections becomes very important so the next section section 3 has genetics cellular and molecular biology now in genetics you get mostly problems small small problems on mendelian genetics either monohybrid cross or dihybrid cross or you have sex linked inheritance problems so you basically get problems most of the times but that does not mean you won't get any uh, theory portion but the theory portion and theory questions are very much less asked mostly they ask uh, problems in genetics the most important section of this uh, most important portion of this section is molecular biology basically the translation transcription and uh, replication so these three portions are the very very much important because most of the time you get very conceptual questions on the from these sections on molecular biology okay and cell biology you have very basic questions some of the times asked so if you know the basic structures of cells and other organelles then you can easily answer so from this section uh, what i will suggest you read molecular biology very thoroughly and from genetics do read the theory because without theory you won't be able to go ahead with genetics but practice more problems conceptual problems on sex linked inheritance monohybrid cross dihybrid cross okay on linkage and complementation so and, uh, and of course on hardy winberg equilibrium so mostly this section is full of mathematics so you got a lot of problems uh, from genetics all right now the next section that we have section 4 and section 5 these two are very very important because the from this section this is basically the engineering section in biotechnology and you get a lot of problems from this section and you get a lot of theory portions as well okay i will suggest separate books on each section in a separate video later but what i will say whatever you have in this uh, two sections section four and section five read all not skip any portion because 
questions have been asked on almost everything whatever you have in section 4 and section 5 so section 4 and section 5 are very important because it is actually the engineering part in biotechnology all right so do not skip anything in these two sections these two sections are very very important and most of the time you get a pro you get problems on this section and you also get theory questions on from these two sections as well now the next section has plant animal and microbial biotechnology from this section you get most of the time mcqs or questions have been asked on plants okay so like regeneration tissue culture somatic variation artificial seed so whatever you have you have to study everything here in plants and animals most of the time they have uh, asked on uh, the type of uh, cells primary culture secondary culture okay and continuous culture the type of media that have that are used for uh, culture of animal cells or the type of indicators phenolphthalein what color is acidic and uh, and what is the color of phenolphthalein basic solution so in that way this section becomes important okay but most of the questions are asked on plant biotechnology rather than that of animal okay some of the time you get one or two questions from animal which i have already told you the type of culture primary secondary uh, continuous culture type of media type of indicators these are mostly the questions that are asked on animal biotechnology now the next section section 7 is recombinant dna technology this is again very important because here in recombinant dna technology you get a lot of questions on the techniques that are used restriction enzymes vectors uh, cdna gdna expression vectors everything isolation ti plus so this uh, you know in total this section is very very important and you can't skip any uh, thing whatever you have you know syllabus for recombinant dna technology after that in molecular tools and analytical tools this two are also very much important you please i will suggest you go through and read whatever the techniques that are mentioned here and the fourth portion that you have in this section is computational tools so this is basically on bioinformatics so uh, the questions that are asked or you can read uh, from this section is basically biological databases primary databases secondary databases ncbi embl ebi okay entrance uh, gen bank these things pairwise sequence alignment uh, how it can be as a global alignment local alignment and uh, most important section in this here is phylogeny because uh, many of the times they are ask they ask questions on phylogeny like uh, how you can achieve cluster based methods maximum parsimony so these are the questions that have been asked on phylogeny so phylogeny thing in bioinformatics under this section becomes very very important so uh, apart from this you have uh, other uh, uh, sections uh, where questions have been asked like uh tertiary structure prediction secondary structure prediction what, what are the different algorithms so in that that way this section becomes important mostly what you can do is that you can uh study specific portions first whenever whenever you are preparing for the first time you can study specific portions from bioinformatics like i have told you biological databases primary secondary entrance gen bank these things pairwise sequence alignment blast fasta and phylogeny and then after that you can go on to secondary structure prediction protein tertiary structure prediction of proteins so in this way more or less your entire uh, 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 bioinformatics syllabi will be covered now one thing to the uh, you must uh, remember which is the key to get a good rank is that you should study the things that are only there in the syllabus okay you do not need to study extra things which which you have studied for your semesters or some other exams just stick to the syllabi that will suffice but whatever is there in the syllabi please go through them because what happens you know every year there there are the different iits which make the question paper so it is up to them uh, which uh, questions they will ask okay you can't guess the questions by looking at the previous year questions so it is better to be on the safe side that if you uh, want uh, just go through the syllabi once first and whichever topics are there just read those specific topics that will do and then after one or two rounds 
just revise 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 until your exam comes okay till your exams you need to have at least four to five rounds of revision don't leave for the last moment otherwise it will become very difficult to finish the syllabus you have many things in your syllabi so first you prepare only the specific portions which i can which i have told you already these portions you first prepare and for the later rounds of revision you go through the entire syllabus and try to finish everything whatever is there in the syllabus because more or less questions can be there from any portion and it can be predicted it is up to the prerogative of the corresponding iit which is framing question so you don't know how they will ask the question so basically in the gate exam pattern you have 65 questions out of this 65 questions 10 questions are from general aptitude and 55 questions you have from your department which in this case is biotechnology and in this 55 questions you have some questions asked from engineering mathematics as well so this is the this is the division of the questions 10 from general aptitude and 55 which has a mixture of departmental questions and engineering mathematics questions time allotted total is 3 hours and total marks you have is 100 now let's see the type of questions so all total you have mostly three different types of uh, questions that are asked in gate in number 1 mcqs which is multiple choice questions number 3 number 2 msqs which is multiple select type of questions and number 3 you have nat or numerical answer type of questions now in the mcqs there are mainly two types of questions where you have one mark mcqs where if you answer correctly you will get one mark and you have two mark mcqs where if you answer correctly you will get two marks correspondingly if you uh, answer wrongly one third marks will be deducted for one mark questions and two third marks will be deducted for two marks questions in ca case of mcq questions all right and in msq questions you can ha you have mostly two marks questions where if you answer correctly you will get two marks but if you answer wrongly there is no negative mark okay and in case of nat also mostly you have two mark questions where if you answer correctly you will get two marks and if you answer wrongly there is no negative mark so the strategy here is in case of mcq questions if you are confident enough that whatever you are answering is 100% correct then go for it marking the answers but if you have even the slightest of the doubt if you have an ambiguity if you are confused between one or two options i will suggest you do not go for that because if it if it uh, is wrong you will have a lot of marks deducted all right in case of msqs and nat the strategy is that you i will suggest you go for every question for msqs as that because there you don't have any negative mark so if you can answer it correctly even by guess work you will get marks and if you answer it wrongly you don't have to lose anything because there is no negative marking and that type question has integer type answers okay so basically uh, i will suggest you go for every question for MC, in in case of mcqs and msqs and nat even if you are confused even if you feel that no i am little bit shaky about this question just answer them who knows your answer might be correct or you may get marks because you know in nat type answer uh, in nat type questions when they make take out the answer key they usually give uh, give a range of answers suppose they give a range from 0.7 to say 0.9 this is the range which they Uh, release in the answer key for nat type question suppose and your answer has come to uh, come around 0.8 now you may feel no so the answer should be 0.7 some are telling 0.7 some are telling 0.9 my answer is 0.8 so my answer might be wrong but that isn't the case in nat type questions because they usually give a range of answers except they usually accept a range of answers so i will always tell you whatever answer comes you just uh, the, you just go for nat type questions you just attempt nat type questions or msq questions because 
who knows your answer might be correct or they might accept your answers all right so this is the strategy that should be followed while answering the gate exam one thing you must keep in mind that you have to it is not uh, and uh, it is not compulsory to attempt all 65 questions but you have to attempt as many questions as you can correctly okay even if you answer out of 65 say if you answer 55 questions or 56 questions but even if they are correct all correct then you will get a very very good ranking and this is the strategy to be followed in every uh, competitive exam you, you need to not know answer 100 percent correct but you have to uh, have maximum questions answered correctly okay so out of 65 questions if you can attempt and if you can um, answer or many uh, almost uh, if you can answer as many questions as you can correctly then you will get a very good score and ranking here i will suggest some books which i have followed while i was preparing for kate the first book that is there is uh, basically arihan get tutor this is the very basic and the standard book which uh, basic uh, freshers should follow while starting their grade preparation because you have a lot of questions here model questions after every chapter and uh, you have a theory you have a lot of theories also on every chapter not only that you have previous year questions as well as some three or four practice sets also in this book so this is a very basic and standard book which should be followed while you are preparing for gate exam after this after you complete this book you can move on to this book which is on GKP biotechnology this is also a very good book it is it also has a uh, previous question solved and model questions and uh, practice sets after every section so these two books can be practiced simultaneously Ariant and GKP and this actually I had followed and uh, I had gained much benefit from these two books these two are very basic books and standard books which every fresher I guess should start the preparation with after you become a little bit more uh, familiarized with the gate questions and the type of questions that you can get in every section you can move on to these two books these two are written by Devashish Scott. this is a, a book on gate biotechnology and this is a combined book on gate life science and biotechnology these two books are very good and I guess you should follow that because these two books has these two books have a lot of questions on uh, bioprocess engineering and process biotechnology which is the engineering section in uh, biotechnology remember the uh, section 4 and section 5 which I showed you in the syllabi so you will get a lot of questions from those two sections in this book and uh, in comparison to the Arihant and GKP there you don't have many questions so for section 4 and section 5 these two sections are very much important so if you follow these two books on Devashish Corp, you will get a lot of uh, questions on section 4 and section 5 that is bioprocess engineering and process biotechnology from these two books. Okay, so try to practice as many MCQs as you can because the more you practice, you be, the more you become familiarized with the questions and the more you can judge your own capability, how you are performing, which are the sections that need more focus and which are the sections that you have now confidence with so you can give a judge yourself you can have a clear understanding of how you, uh, you can uh, how your control on the sections different sections of data so the more you practice books the more you practice mcq questions the more you know that what are the kind of questions that can be there from each section in gate so these are basically departmental books apart from that you have some general aptitude books this uh, you can follow these are basically Aryan book on uh, reasoning verbal analytical and non-verbal reasoning and this is uh, basically an arithmetic book this is these two books uh, you can follow for uh, the verbal reasoning and the uh, quantitative aptitude portion and the third this book is RS Agarwal this book is also very good for quantitative aptitude portion so these three books I had followed while preparing for the general aptitude section all right so you can follow those others there are many other books good books available in the market you can if you wish if you you can follow that 
Now the one thing you must remem remember that to perform well you have to perform good in every section. Only then you can perform well. So departmental section I have already told you what are the books, what are the sec sections which need special focus and attention. Apart from that uh, you need to perform well in engineering mathematics section. So for that follow some standard books or MCQ books as you like. And please do practice general aptitude books. Don't leave it for the last month or the last week. That no, I will study the departmental section throughout the year, and I will just some practice some questions or general aptitude for the last few days. That won't work. So start preparing general aptitude simultaneously as you prepare for a departmental section. Fair, perform well in every section. Then only you will get a very good score and very good rank. Okay, there are a lot of books available on market. It is up to you how you will utilize your opportunity and the resources that are available to you. Okay, we will make a separate video on the the different good books for every section in Gate Biotechnology syllabi. All the best.